All right, everybody, welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption. So what you just saw is like the actual loadup, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, that, that kind of long, but I think it's so that when you actually get into your world, it's it's not going to be as long. But yeah, man, so um, we're going to go talk to some people. Uh, man, I, I don't even know. Like today was just one of those really, really long days where I just got back home and I was like, I don't even know if I'm going to record today. But I, uh, I just, I just got in my feelings a little bit. I was going back and I was watching all the Naruto openings, and after the first one, man, I, I was depressed. I was so sad. It took me back, all the way back. And I said, I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm playing some Red Dead 2. I am playing some Red Dead 2, man. Uh I'm still in my feelings, though. <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found Enough nothing. Enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. <laughs> Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All right, let's head out. All right, looks like it's time to get our far cry on. We got a bow and arrow. To my knowledge, there was no such thing in the original. I'm okay. Apart from this hand. A stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill? It ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Ha! This is really just another one of those games where I, I don't want to commentate. Like, I don't. from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <sighs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good.
Yeah, man, this is just one of those games where I'll forget that I'm a com- Like, see what I mean? Like, I wish I wasn't a commentator at times like this. So where I could just sit back and enjoy it. But then I know, like, the moment I stop, that's what people are going to be like, Hey, man, why don't you commentate, man? You should commentate. Can't please everybody. The wind's died down, too. That's good. No wind at all is bad. But if it's too strong, they won't move. Now, shh. Stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. <sighs> There's deer been here recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Yeah, so we'd have to get into the habit of coming back to a horse right before everything, I guess. Where is the bow at? There it is. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. Between the scenery, the bow and arrow, I just got like... A calling back to The Last of Us. I don't think so. That DLC? Maybe not. Left Behind, that's what it was called. When you're playing as Ellie and you're just hunting for deer while Joel was laid out. You can use eagle eye to highlight animal tracks and clues. Alright, I want someone to tell me that that's not a ripoff from Assassin's Creed so I can roast the living hell out of you. I don't even know where the track was. Hold on, let's, let's start back. Got it. Tracks are highlighted on the ground after focusing on them. They'll remain highlighted until the bar in the lower right corner empties. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. See, the thing is, it's just so bright, like, you can hardly tell. Yeah, like, I needed to kind of dim down just a tad bit, and that way I could see better. Alright, I think... Nope, I was way off. Oh, shit. It's a good thing I was able to do that again. I would have lost it by now. Alright, yeah. Gotta go up this way. And there she is. You see him? Are you ready with that bow? Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. I'm trying to get the neck. Yeah, thanks for telling me now, bro. All right, let me get a little bit closer. Trying to go straight for the head. Come on. Got him. Hunt's another deer. So, do we have to, like, go up and get this one, or...? Attract an animal's attention by selecting call when aiming at it. This will give you a chance of a clean kill as they raise their head before fleeing. Oh yeah, so... The track continues forward. Picked up that arrow. You know a game I never played that I kind of do want to play? I want to play Far Cry Primal. Speaking of which, hold up. That should be an easy hit. Yep. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hand's okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Now, the, the biggest thing here I'm looking forward to with this game is the level of realism. You know, I was told you have to shave. You know, obviously you gotta eat. You gotta go to a blacksmith for everything. Like, it's just hyper-realistic. And that's that's what I really look for in games. To where... I mean, at a point in time, it feels like it's a tedious task. But you begin to appreciate it. 
Oh, now, where the hell is my horse? Oh, there she is. Some guys that I train with at PT for the Marines. They were talking about in this game, when it's really cold, you could actually see the balls of the horse fizz up. And I was just like, that's semi-useless information, but... Whatever. <laughs> yep. I guess no detail goes unnoticed. Ready to head back when you are. Come on, man. Let's head back. Animal carcasses to be dropped off to Pearson nice work, at the Chef to Knife to, keep us all fed to contribute to gang supplies. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. And that girl from the ranch now, too. But not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look in her eye. You would, too. She lost her husband. Her home, everything she had. Uh, so what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. So it was O'Driscoll's you ran into there? Yeah. <laughs> Last thing we was expecting. What is it with the O'Driscoll's? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang, nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. They must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Easy. I remember back when you were playing as John Marston in the original. His son tried to take out a bear by himself. That's like, I think for me, the most memorable moment of that game. Coming to save your son before he gets mauled by a bear. When a predator is nearby, your horse gets agitated. Easy boy. Look at that. Again, with the hyper-realism. The horses do get spooked. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... No, you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, 
Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Just want you to remember, even when it gets quiet, I'm still horse? here. He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Tuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I am over here. Brought some food back, boys. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. I uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. What a surprise. I find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now, shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes. Oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> you always one with the jokes, aren't you? <coughs> Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Alright, now we finally learn how to skin them so we can start skinning them out in the wild. I'm trying to remember what you used the skins for. I think it was kind of something you used for trading, but you could also make things. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Yeah, well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> Master Hunter. Master Hunter 1, one of three deer skinned. Compendium updated. The hell is that?
I don't know. Oh, okay. So it's just basically just like, I guess, the stats in a way. So equipment. Then we get 178 animals in this game. 178. 30 fish. And there are other gangs. See what I mean? Like, there's just so much to look forward to. We're 2% done with the story. Yeah, kind of figured that. All it's really been up to this point, and it's probably going to be for a while, is nothing but tutorials. Like, I'm waiting for it to really just give us the world. Up with you, boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> a party? <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. You sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. Nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Comb always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscoll's about. Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score they're planning. that tracks horses quite a few of them as far as i can tell the only fools out here are us and them they must be this way you good dutch of course listen i know you don't think much of my ideas recently but this is the right move okay you know i got your back I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close.
right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, ready Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. I don't know about you guys, but I ain't got a good feeling about this. This just feels so forced. And after all, because we know this is probably a tutorial of some kind. There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. In case y'all were wondering, I actually am in control. I thought this was just going to be another cutscene of some kind. That is actually not a bad looking horse. I'd rob that shit any day. Now, I can't tell, but it looks like those are the train tracks. He don't seem very happy. No. <laughs> Yo, he just bitch slapped the hell out of him. Seem to be. Should we go get him? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. All right, robbing a train. Just got our good old-fashioned rifle. Old and reliable rifle, actually. About to get our Han Solo on. Always be ready to pick them off from up there. Sure thing. Yeah, I was trying to get... I thought it was going to let me get it out earlier. That's why I was standing around my horse, but it wouldn't let me. There right, we go. Good. Come on, let's go. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. I don't think this is the right way. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? I've got like, wait, what? Now, okay, I see I'm you. Something. It's gonna follow oh, Dutch. Yeah. Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. I hope we don't just kill him outright. I want to know more about this backstory. Blood feud. Normally that means they're related in some way. They have to be. I'm just half tempted to jump off this shit, see what happens. Nah, but yeah, you know, when it gets quiet, though, because I'm sure it will a lot in this game, because I don't like to overlap with the uh, the dialogue. I want you guys to just get really invested in it. Be Maybe immersed. I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. Let's just get down there first. Now, I don't know what happened right there. Like, my controller just bugged out. Yeah, I've decided since this is probably going to be a really long series, like 
Fallout long. Expect some really long videos, guys. Probably the longest I'd ever do for like a single series video. Stay low. Show the weapon wheel and to equip. As the great Marcus Phoenix once said, it's time to kick some ass. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. All right, Dutch, say less. Make the call, Arthur. Okay, I'll go first. Yeah, why not? Wow, I really just botched the shit out of that. That's crazy. Oh snap, we got the roll. I shot that man's hat off. You see that? All right, nice. We got the headshot. Yeah, I don't think this is how this is supposed to go, but <laughs> fuck it. Improvisation is the best. Yeah, the auto wave in this game is like really, really strong. Look at that sniper elite cam. I love it. I don't know how I'm shooting people's hats off, but... It's cool, but at the same time, I should just be getting the kill instead. Yeah, I just pressed X instinctively before, though. Because I was, if we're playing so much GTA 5, I just had a feeling. Not anymore. Marks the map. All those X's are all the dead bodies around the camp, so we'll be able to loot all those guys. I think that's all of them. Search the bodies. Strip everything we can from them. What I need to do is I need to get up close to one of them. I gotta see if like they have that uh that very well remembered and pretty iconic close-up animation we get up close just like put it under the chin and bam i don't expect it to be this easy all the time especially since probably i'll be alone most of it anyway but, you know I'm, I'm sure because we're part of a gang after all if it ever gets too sticky call our bros for assistance and more of them just showed up I don't know why he equipped that. All right, let's crouch for some better accuracy. Oh, damn. I said advance. They ain't gonna push me back. I just, again, I'm shooting hats off more than I'm killing people. I really do like that there's stats for everything, like between your bond with the horse to your horse's stamina to your own personal stamina. Oh shit, what, what was that? <gasps> they brought that back, let's go! I didn't even know that was a thing. I should have figured. I should have assumed. That's what inspired bullet time for Michael in GTA 5. But then again, I feel like they kind of got the whole thing for Max Payne, so. There's a lot of credit to be given. Got 
that's a repeater cartridge. I'm looting everybody. If there's one thing Resident Evil 4 taught me is you loot everything. And that was the thing too, like me and a lot of guys, a lot of the other pullies, we were talking about that, like the best game we ever played. For a lot of people, it was like, um, it was something small or something you would kind of expect. Like it was either Call of Duty or actually, no, there wasn't, never mind. It was like an Elder Scrolls or a Fallout. For me, you already know, it was Resident Evil 4. Probably the best game I ever played. Made me the gamer I am today. Without that, there is no me. And that's just the hardcore facts. Yeah, there are a lot of dead bodies. Sorry, we're getting our cardio in. You know, the whole gang vibe just has me thinking, like, this is Saints Row, but just, like, in the Wild Wild West times. But I want you all to comment down, like, a game that, when you just look at it, like, I went back and I watched the Halo 3 announcement trailer, the Halo 2 announcement trailer, which actually I'd never seen before. Fun fact. That shit brought me to tears, man. You know, just, just how beautiful it was. Especially Halo 3, just going back to those times. I was talking to my physical therapist about that today, even. Same thing, like, just that... It makes me want to cry. Like, just to go back, it takes me all the way back to those times. Middle school, where all you had to do was just go to school, come home from school, not do your homework, play all night, and repeat. Like, it was just... Life was so much simpler. And just, just seeing how things are. I've already gave my opinion on this generation. This generation of gaming has been so stale. There's only like a couple games worth noting, but I could give you, I could give you an entire list, an entire list of games from 360. We don't have time to mess around. Why does it want me to open the weapon? I have nothing here. Good work, boys. Now let's tear this place apart. I'm still looting bodies. Go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Yeah, watch out a comment. What game just gets you there? Cause I go back, I go watch the Halo trailer. It makes it makes me cry, man. Beautiful. Still one of the best games I ever played. Yeah, at this point, these dudes are giving me some really like novelty items, but it's always good for the Benjamins. And I'm calling it, if they ever made a Red Dead movie, and they chose to make it off of this game, Chuck Norris, he has to be the one to play Arthur Morgan. That's that's all I can think about when I see this dude's face every single time. I'm like, what's Chuck Norris doing in this game? Alright, I think there's just like a couple more bodies, but again, all this running around is getting our stamina up. It's always good to have. All right, this is the last one we're gonna do. Now I guess we're supposed to check in here. Hey, this looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you, boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Matt, Charles, and Sean back riding with us. And I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you can get calm, but... 
This hit'll hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will. Just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Now we gotta go capture some motherfucker. Let's get it. Pull up the weapon wheel. Use the lasso. I should be good at this. Get away from me! Not so fast, man. It was just like yesterday when I used to do this all the time, man. You're coming with me. You got me mixed up with someone else. They might as well just call him the O'Neill, because this that's all I can think of is the O'Neills from GTA. Entire gang, all these dudes. The only difference is they're not all related and brothers. This could get bumping. Now, Rockstar likes to take some of their tendencies and just rinse and lather, I feel, with their games. I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Karen. Karen what? Duffy. Karen Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Karen Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna lie. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna lie. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! They're just basically like Jeepers Creepers, just screaming the last scream you ever scream. So bad, you can't even dream of it. I'll disappear. I'll go to Mexico. Mexico, that's a very specific place. I'm begging you. You better shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you. Now, I know this cannot be the fat. Well, I always got there's upgrades that to be, you know, made. I've only got to increase the stamina and whatnot. Because this horse is not that fast. Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. <laughs> The fuck is this? This man just became an executioner. Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Squad! Don't hurt me, please. No, oh, don't worry. They're real nice. <laughs> You found a little shit, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. Who shoot, fellas? Does need shooting? Save, fellas? Is need saving, and feed him. Is need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. 
I can't believe it. An O'Driscoll in my camp. No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister. I, I hate that fella. Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. <laughs>